let's look at some of the log files you have that are generated during the startup process of an Ubuntu machine. First of all, I have this terminal up, and I'm going to take a look in the var log directory. If I do ls, I can get a listing of all the files, and some files we're going to look at is the boot log. So boot log is nice. It shows a lot of the boot information. You can also look at the D message right there, which also shows some boot information. And you got kern.log, which shows the kernel as it's starting up. And syslog, which shows different system processes being started up. Okay, let's start with the first one, boot.log. Boot.log, for some reason, is restricted and you cannot see it so if i type in cat boot.log i can't see it without root access so i do a sudo in front of that and then i can see as the system starts up all the things that are there so if i use less it does have the escape colors which are pretty and nice or i can just look at it with more and you can kind of just scroll through it and see as it's starting up, what's starting, what services are being started, and whether or not they started successfully. Next, we're going to look at the D message. So if I do less D message, I can see similar stuff. You can see information about the kernel being started up. And all these different processes as they're starting up, hardware being detected, all the things in the kernel ring being started up and probed and loaded and everything. This can be very useful for troubleshooting. Now you'll see it goes down to 20 seconds in and then it stops because it's done. Interestingly, you can actually run a dmeshes command which requires root access. So if I try running like this, it says it's well, it fails. But if I do a sudo in front of that, I can get this thing right here. And it doesn't stop right here. It goes a little further. And you see this other stuff popping up. Okay. So you can use that for troubleshooting as well. Next, we're going to take a look at the kern.log. Once again, it's going to show the kernel information. So do less kern.log. And you can see, once again, genuine, genuine, Intel kernel. Uh, and you kind of scroll down and see information about things as they're being loaded. So lots of overlap, but lots of inf information. So if you can't find something in one of them, it might be in a different one. And the last one we're going to get, syslog, also requires root access, I believe. Actually, maybe it doesn't. So that's syslog, that was actually nice. It shows the same kernel stuff, but this one goes a little further than just the kernel and that information. It goes to later things, such as starting up your systems. So system D services are being started up, and it starts talking about each one as they are being launched. Now, this can be a lot more useful when you're doing things later, like restarting a web server, restarting a mail server. If you're having trouble, you might want to look at the logs and see what's going on here and what problems you're running into. So, just kind of scrolling through that and finding information. Anyway, these are some of these startup logs that can be very useful for troubleshooting different problems with your system. So go ahead and get familiar with them and kind of get an idea of what they contain. Just scroll through them and take a look at them.